Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer suggested in tech world using contour method and residue theorem, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to infinity ln of one plus x squared over one plus x squared dx. I'll be using contour method, semi-circle contour method and residue theorem. So let me just parametrize this. So consider, alpha greater than zero. Then I'll be making f of alpha as ln of one plus now alpha square x square. That over one plus x square. Parametrize this. And then our i. So if you consider the integral from negative infinity to infinity, then we can represent uh, the integral. Let me call this as the i. i has to be then one over two times f of one. If you consider integral from negative infinity to infinity using evenness, and at the same time, you already know f of zero is just equal to zero. And then we can differentiate under the integral to have f prime of alpha. Okay, then this is going to be the same as integral from negative infinity to infinity. And then we have two alpha x squared. That divided by one plus x squared uh, times 1 plus alpha squared x squared. Okay. And then we have dx. Okay, so let's use partial fraction to work on your integrand. So I'll be working on x squared over uh, 1 plus x squared times 1 plus alpha squared x squared. So using partial fraction, it is going to be just the same as we can pull this 1 over uh, alpha squared minus 1 out and make your parenthesis. And then we should have one over one plus x squared. And then we have minus one over one plus alpha squared x squared. So then we can rewrite this f prime of alpha. f prime of alpha has to be the same as then two alpha. Two alpha over alpha squared minus one. Okay, then that times integral from negative infinity to infinity of dx over 1 plus x squared. And then minus integral from negative infinity to infinity of dx over denominator, 1 plus alpha squared x squared. And then close your parenthesis. Looks like we need to evaluate two integrals, this and that. Let me just call this as 1 and 2. So starting from the first integral, I'll be using semi-circle contour method in an upper half plane. And then the pole needs to be i and i over alpha. Okay, so let me just work on this first one. That is integral from negative infinity to infinity of dx over 1 plus x squared. Okay, the semi-circle contour should be looking just like this. And then your i should be there, i over alpha. And then this is counterclockwise direction. And then it looks like your pole. So your pole at z is plus or minus i. But then again, we should be choosing the one inside of the semicircle. So that's why, first of all, choosing z is equal to i first. And then use residue theorem. So the residue of z is i, that of 1 over 1 plus z squared. And then this is just going to be the same as the limit. Uh, z is going to i. Okay, then we have z minus i, that over uh, z minus i times z plus i. And then this is easily calculated as 1 over 2i. Okay, so that's why using residue theorem, integral from negative infinity to infinity of dx over 1 plus x squared. Okay, then this is just the same as 2 pi i, the times 1 over 2 i, which is just equal to pi. Now we need to work on the second integral. The second integral was integral from negative infinity to infinity and then we have dx 
over 1 plus alpha square x square. For this integral, Paul needs to be at z. That is i over alpha inside of the semicircle contour. So based on this, we can just talk about 1 plus alpha square uh, z square. OK, this is just going to be the same as then alpha square times z minus i over alpha times z plus i over alpha. So using the residue also, the residue of z is i over alpha, that of 1 over 1 plus alpha square and z square. OK, then this is just going to be the same as uh, limit Limit C is going to I over alpha, and then we have 1 over. OK, then 1 over alpha square. Okay, alpha square, and then that times Z plus I over alpha after canceling out. So that is why this is just the same as 1 over uh, 2 I alpha. So that is why this integral has to be just the same as then 2 pi i times 1 over 2 i alpha. So after canceling everything out, you have now pi over alpha. OK, so using this, we can talk about f prime of alpha. OK, it was then 2 alpha uh, over alpha square minus 1. And then that times parenthesis, we're using those to resolve, right? It is then going to be a pi minus pi over alpha. Close your parenthesis. This is just going to be the same as 2 pi uh, over alpha plus 1. We'll be integrating this f prime alpha with respect to alpha and then use f of 0 is equal to 0. So if you go ahead and do this, OK, then your f of alpha, OK, this is simply 2 pi times ln of alpha plus 1. And then we need to plug it in 1 to the alpha. And then getting half of it, because your i was 1 over 2 times f of 1, right? So your i has to be 1 over 2 times f of 1. So this is calculated to be 1 over 2. Uh, that times 2 pi ln2. So canceling this out, so the answer for this question is pi ln2. So pi ln2 was the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral using semicircle contour and residue theorem. How amazing.